Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And several of my subscribers have aware of me that Keno Booty, Kenobi, Keno Body, whatever Alan O'Gallagher is calling himself these days, has uh, released a pre-workout and they want to know what I think about it. So let me put on my plus five hat of weaponsmithing, work on skill on my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. It's like, Kenobi, what happened here, man? You remember years ago I said his channel wasn't that bad? And I'm like, yeah, because, you know, he's promoting at least big compound movements. And he's against supplements, right? He used to be against supplements. He said supplements, you don't need them. They don't really do much of anything. They're, you don't need them. Don't, don't bother with them, right? That's what he used to say. And then he sold out to the dark side. And it's like, Kenobi, you were the chosen one, right? That's what happened, guys. That's what happened. He sold out. He used to say supplements don't really do much of anything, which is the truth. Supplements are largely a waste of money, with the exception of a handful of very inexpensive products, you know, which we've covered in the past, things like vitamin D3. Fish oil, not so much now that the research is actually becoming a less, you know, protein powder, creatine. That's about it. That's about it. If you're taking anything else, you're throwing away your money. Throwing it away. But he used to understand that. But then he started releasing products. And now he's released Keno Octane. Keno Octane. What do I think about it? Well, you guys know how I feel about pre-workouts. Uh, they've been studied. They don't work. They don't work. People say, oh my God, what are you saying? I, I, I get good energy. I get good pumps. I know you get high off of it. That's, that's it, guys. That is the only reason to take a pre-workout because you want to get a buzz. You want to get high. That's fine, but let's not pretend it's going to help you gain muscle or strength, because it doesn't. Uh, this has been studied. I've explained in vast detail. There's research that's been done on this, why these things don't work, why they don't actually help you with anything. So, what's going on with this one? What's going on with this one? Well, I looked at what's in it. Basically, it's, he's saying, oh, it's scientifically proven organs. Four active ingredients. Uh, citrulline malate. There's thiamine and biotin. And then, of course, there's Siberian ginseng. So basically, you guys are paying for an overpriced ginseng product if you're buying it. Now, we could argue about the, the holistic herbal benefits of ginseng. That's another topic. I don't even want to get into that. Uh, I don't even care. I don't care. But that is essentially the only thing in there that if you're going to go off of whatever you want that might, might have some benefit. All right, citrulline malate. Uh, no one supports this anymore, right? A few years ago, there were a lot of experts in the field saying citrulline malate has promise. We want to see more studies, but it was one of those that might have promise for performance or, or whatever, right? It had promise. Uh, the data's been lackluster. You don't see anyone supporting it anymore. You don't see people like Dr. Eric Helms, who did basically his PhD in pre-contest bodybuilders. Uh, you don't see him pushing it anymore, Right? You don't see a lot of these guys who are pro-supplement who have advanced degrees in nutrition pushing citrulline malate because it's been lackluster in the research. So if you're buying a product because of that, you're probably wasting your money. Furthermore, if you wanted citrulline malate, you can buy it by the kilo yourself and you could probably spend $25 and have enough to last you five years if you decided you wanted it, right? So hopefully no one's paying $10 a month for a citrulline supplement if you're convinced somehow that it works. Because you can just buy the stuff yourself. Like, how do you guys think Kenobi's getting this stuff? He just buys these four things in raw powder, mixes them up, and then charges uh, five times what they cost to make. That's how these blends work. This stuff, anybody can buy this stuff. You guys can buy this stuff too. You can buy it by the kilo. You can buy 10 pounds at a time. All right, these are just products that you can get. They're, they're easily available in pure form, wholesale. That's why I say you buy a lifetime supply, you know. You shouldn't be spending $10 a month on something like that, even if you're convinced it works. Now, the other two things there, thiamine and biotin. How terrible of a diet are you guys eating? Now, now here's, here's what it comes down to. Here's what it comes down to. These are basic vitamins. They're water-soluble vitamins. You know what that means? It means you have a limited ability to absorb and utilize them. In other words, mega dosing a lot of these things, there's a threshold to where you're just going to pee them out. Now, are thiamine and biotin critical for performance, recovery, uh, 
Are they critical to not dying? Yes, they are. If you're deficient, too deficient in either one of these, yes, you will have cellular metabolism problems and your body will stop working. And by stop working, that means, doesn't mean, oh, you just feel bad, stop working, means your body stops working. That's called death. That, that's, you're dead. When your body stops working, you die, right? Pretty simple concept. Yes, these are necessary for survival. They are also necessary for metabolism. Uh, what sort of active athletic people are, are deficient in these? Like, what? how bad does your diet have to be to not get enough of these? I mean, how many guys are eating chicken and brown rice as staple foods? Go look at the thiamine content and the biotin content, I don't know, on 1,500 calories of brown rice and a pound of chicken breast. Right? Normal bro foods that people who work out eat. Yes, go, go look it all up yourself. Maybe look them up in some potatoes right? or sweet potatoes if that's what you guys are eating. Again, just whole foods. Uh, go look them up on various meats. Nice lean protein sources, right? Chicken, pork chops, turkey, lean cuts of steak, right? Maybe some blank steak. Go look this stuff up and see how much is in these. Uh, you guys do know that when you start exceeding something like 100% of the RDA, the research doesn't show that strength athletes need higher levels of any of these water-soluble vitamins in the general population. In other words, part of the reason the general population might have low energy and feel bad is because they're not actually getting the correct amounts either. Endurance athletes, and none of you guys who have followed intermittent fasting or, or endurance athletes, I can promise you that. might need small amounts more, like as much as 20-30% more of certain of vitamins, right, than the general population. Uh, you're going to have no trouble just from eating normal whole foods like grains, like, like brown rice, and a lean cuts of meat, and lean dairy, you're not going to have problems getting maximum and even ideal quantities of these. So no one's denying that they work. But what in the hell are you guys eating that you're going to benefit from supplementing them? This is insane. These are in your food already. You know, now if you're one of these, if it fits your macros guys who lives on nothing but whey protein, pop tarts, and a multivitamin. All right, maybe, but who in the hell eats that way who's serious about their training? You're probably eating real foods. In fact, I'd be willing to bet you guys are probably eating vegetables. If you're serious, anyone who says, okay, well, I don't care about before, I just want a better body composition. I want to get the, the Keno Body Hollywood look. Well, I'm, I hope you're eating vegetables, right? That, but hopefully, you want that physique bad enough that you can manage to force down some broccoli every day or some carrots or spinach, right? So if you're eating enough whole foods, why are you going to benefit from these? You're not. You're not. It's ridiculous. So... Basically, vitamins that you should already be getting from your food combined with citrulline malate, which is no longer really supported by in the literature. No one's pushing this stuff uh, with ginseng. So basically, you're paying for an overpriced ginseng product, guys. Maybe that'll help you relax. I, I don't know. Whatever you guys are taking ginseng for these days. Who knows? People have been selling that for $5 a bottle at Walmart for... 40 years, all right? I see the problem, but you know, why is he pushing a pre-workout? I don't know, maybe because he's having people train fasted and their energy is low and their training sucks. Maybe that's why he needs to push a pre-workout. It's like, this is what the supplement industry does and Ken Booty has fallen right into this. Uh, it's called create the problem and then sell you the solution. Hey guys, I want you guys to do it. Maybe you should train fasted. Oh, you're finding now that the workouts are so intense that you're struggling to complete them and you need a pre-workout to boost, give you the energy to make it through it, right? Create the problem and then sell you the overpriced solution. Damn. If that's not a solid hustle, I don't know what it is. I swear, guys, I am in the wrong business. You guys know how often when I hear how stupid people are, they can be convinced to buy stuff like this that I don't go, man, I really should have gone the supplement route instead of being honest with people. Because it's not like anyone thinks I'm honest these days anyways. My reputation has been so tarnished that when I've, I've 
tell you guys the truth on everything, tell you guys the truth about stuff, no one believes it, and they just keep getting hustled. Believe me, guys, there are times when I wish I had sold out this crooked. I'd be making a hell of a lot more money. But you know what? I can still look myself in the mirror every day. So that's something. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.